now this is a quick video that you can follow along with that goes over a few motor planning poses with our hands so planning out the different motions and then also working on our fine motor coordination so it starts with just hand movements then we also move on to a little bit with play-doh so to start out the first hand movements to follow thumbs up then we'll put our thumb down and count one two three from there, point, next, pinky to our thumb. Now we're gonna walk down our fingers, so one at a time, fingertips to our thumb. If you can, do both at once. Speed up if you can. Get them all moving. Next, we're gonna make a few fun animals with our hands. See if you can make a turkey. So what you have for the turkey, you have thumbs up with one hand against your other hand. Here's our turkey fan. You can also try a snail. So make a good fist. This is our snail shell. Other hand underneath with our two. Now that we have our hands all warmed up, let's pull out our Play-Doh and keep that going. We'll squeeze it, get it all warmed up to go. Then press down and roll, press and roll. Get your sleeves rolled up, this will get stuck. All the way to a log. Once you have the log made, take your pincher fingers, thumb pointer middle, and we'll squeeze down our log. Once you have that first round done, switch hands and let the other one squeeze down our log as well, pinching it. Now our log should be nice and flat. Roll it up. Sort of like we're making a cinnamon roll. We're going to swirl it. Here's our swirl. Let's flatten it on the table. Pressing in with all of our fingers. Now we can make a few holes. We'll take our pointer finger, push in a few. Let's do a few with our other hand as well. So I did five. So one, two, three, four, five more. And we'll squeeze this dough again with both of our hands, getting it back towards a ball. Using both of our hands together, we can push in. It's a lot of pressing. You try to smooth it out a little bit. And as you can see, there's a lot of good stuff that you can do with Play-Doh or even our hand motions just to get those muscles, those small muscles in our hands moving and working and getting a little stronger. So we have a nice new ball. Next, this is going to be familiar. We're going to press and roll to make a log again. Sometimes if your play is getting a little older like mine, you might need to squeeze it and then go back to rolling. So we have a nice long log. If you have scissors available, we'll cut it into snippets, little pieces, or you can also pull it apart as well. Up to you. Sometimes this is a nice way to practice our scissors. If your snippets are fairly large like mine, you can even snip them in half one more time. But make sure, of course, with our scissors that we're doing this with our child. Now 
now I have a lot of these little snippets. My last challenge is going to use just our fingertips. We're going to take our snippets and really roll them in our fingertips. Try to smooth them out into little balls. You can also do a little bit palm to palm like this. Or just our fingertips, rolling them out. I'm going to put mine back in my container. Or you can stack them, whatever you want to do. You can make a little design with it, spell out a letter. When you do our palm to palm like this, we're really coordinating both of our hands together with our movements. So what we call bilateral coordination, get involved with that. We can also, to smooth it out, pinch both together, again using bilateral coordination in our hands together and some pinch. It's another way to smooth out our snippet. And then continue till you get through your pile. Hope you've enjoyed these little hand warm-ups. You can take a few of these every day and find some ways to keep those hands moving. Thank you.